To get started, we'll first create a new React application using Create React App. Next, we'll change into the new directory and install AWS Amplify using either NPM or Yarn. Next, we'll initialize a new Amplify project by running Amplify init. Here, we'll give the project a name, the environment a name, choose our default text editor, and then choose the defaults for the rest of the questions. When prompted for your AWS profile, choose the profile that you'd like to use. Now that the Amplify project has been initialized, we'll create the API by running Amplify Add API. For the API type, we'll choose REST. Next, we'll provide the API a name and then give it a path. The path that we'll choose is slash greeting because this API will return a greeting. Since we've not yet created any Lambda functions in this project, for the Lambda source, we'll choose create a new Lambda function. Next, we'll give a name to the Lambda function and then choose the runtime. The runtime that we'd like to choose is Python. We can then choose no for the rest of the options. Next, let's open the project in our text editor. In your project, you should now see an Amplify folder containing a backend slash function folder holding all of the functions in the project. In the function src folder, you'll see a file called index.py. Open this file in your text editor as this will be the entry point to our Lambda function. We'll start by importing JSON at the top of the file. Next, we'll delete the existing code in the body of the handler function. We'll next create a dictionary called body with the message property set to hello from Lambda. Next, we'll create a dictionary called response. Here, we'll set the status code to 200 and the body to json.dumps passing in the body to stringify the body. To enable cores, we'll also set the headers. Here, we'll set the content type to application slash JSON and the access control allow origin to a wildcard. Finally, we'll just return the response. To deploy the backend, we'll then run amplify push from the command line. Now that the backend has been deployed, we can configure the front end React application. The first thing we'll do is open src slash index.js to configure Amplify. Here, we'll import Amplify from AWS Amplify, the configuration from AWS exports that was created by the CLI, and then call amplify.configure passing in the config. Let's take a look at this aws exports.js file. In this configuration, you'll see that we have the HTTP endpoint for our API as well as the API name. The next thing we'll do is open src slash app.js. In app.js, we'll first import the use state and use effect hooks from React. We'll then import the API category from AWS Amplify. In the app component, we'll create a variable called greeting and a function called set greeting by using the use state hook setting the initial value to null. Next, we'll create a function called fetch greeting that will call our API. In this function, we'll call api.get, passing in the API name as the first argument and the path as the second argument. We'll then set the response to this API call to a variable called API data. When the response is returned from our API, we'll then call set greeting, passing in the API data.message property. Finally, in the use effect hook, we'll call fetch greeting. We're now ready to use our greeting variable in our UI. 
To do so, I'll replace a lot of this boilerplate with an H1 tag displaying the greeting. To test everything out, we can run npm start. Here we should see hello from Lambda returned from our API.